3000, just, just shout them out, y'all. It's your boy Logic X3000 LCE. We in the building. Now, breaking news URL has finally responded to the $40 million lawsuit filed by Norbs. Um, I just recently found this out for real, for real. So I had to go check it out for myself and bring it to y'all. Now, it's a lot of paperwork involved in this, you feel me? So I ain't going to go through everything, you feel me? But y'all can look the shit up y'all self. Y'all know what, um, y'all can go to New York court documents or whatever. Just Google it, look it up, and it's dead, you know what I mean? So, y'all know I had to light what up real quick for this one. I advise y'all to do the same, you know what I mean? If, <laughs> so, um, let's get into it. Uh, this first thing I'm showing y'all is a affidavit from Beasley in the support of motion to dismiss the complaint filed by Norbs. Um, hold on, let me get some of this shit out my way real quick. All right, all right. So Beasley states he a member of defendant art. Um, excuse me. He's a member of the Defendant Ultimate Rap League LLC, as well as an individually defendant in this action. I'm familiar with the facts and circumstances set forth herein, except as to matters not stated upon my personal knowledge, the grounds for which are the books and records of URL LLC. I respectfully submit this affidavit in support of defendant's motion pursuant for an order dismissing plaintiff's complaint in its entirety with prejudice and granting such other and further relief as is just and proper. The Smack videos provided a showcase for rap music and culture beginning in 2002. In or around 2002, defendant Troy Mitchell began producing a video series showcasing rap music and culture featuring interviews with prominent artists such as Kanye. Uh, so this just goes in discussing the smack dvd uh, and, and how it was built um no way in shape or form does that have anything to do with norps but it's just showing the lineage of how things was built and formulated into the url um so basically it's just Talk about the spec DVD right here, and they um, you know they got the exhibits. They show a little bit of proof of some things too. I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all that so, um, little documentation of certain things. Uh, so Mitchell French and I transitioned to a business center on rap battle performances by around 2009 popularity of the original format smack dvds was declining these videos were initially distributed by smack and branded as smack presents ultimate rap league building on our success mitchell french and i registered the domain name url.tv and launched ultimate rap league channel on youtube initially revenues attributable to the ultimate rap league's youtube channel were distributed to the smack white bank account 2013 mitchell french and i formed a new separate business entity to conduct the business of the ultimate rap league on joint on june 19th mitchell filed the articles of organization for the ultimate rap league llc with the with the Nevada Secretary of State, which had three members, Mitchell French and myself, 
which is Beasley. This is Beasley right now. This, if y'all don't know, I'm just, um, well, I mean, maybe his lawyer wrote this up or Beasley, whatever, but this is coming from Beasley. Attached exhibit three, true, correct copy of Ultimate Rat League LLC, articles of organization. Like I said, I'm gonna show y'all the exhibits after I get out of here for real. March 10th, 2014, Mitchell French and I executed the limited liability company operating agreement of URL. Blah, blah, blah. June 2017, Mitchell French and I formed a separate liability company in the state of New York. More exhibits I'm going to show y'all. Only three members of the URL are Mitchell French and myself, which is Beasley. Mitchell French and Beasley each hold a 33.33 .33 membership interest in the URL LLC. As members, they each receive an annual schedule K-1s for the URL LLC. So, hey, they all got Scotty Pippen numbers. Scotty Pippen stakes in the URL. <clears throat> um, no way... In shape or form, do I see anything have to do with no yet? But it's about to come up. Over the years, Mitchell French and I maintained and continued relationship with plaintiff services as a talent scout, an evaluator and recruiter of up and coming battle rappers. So basically, all notes was doing was scouting talent. I mean, um, scouting talent and bringing. The battle rappers, giving them PGs and bringing the talent to the URL. Um, um, basically, an individual contract. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so um, he was, he was just paid for his services. He was never a part of the company. Basically, is what they getting into. Plaintiff periodically appear at some but not all of URL events that feature battle rappers with a connection to the plaintiff. Plaintiff's sporadic appearances at URL events were not necessary to the success of the events. When plaintiff did not choose to attend URL events, it appeared for the purpose of boosting his own public profile and furthering his career as a manager of rap artists. Plaintiff assisted in design of promotional materials Example flyers, upcoming URL events. Plaintiff would deliberately include his own name and logo in association with URL events. Um, I'm going to show y'all that. And they got some text messages as well. Ain't really nothing too crazy, but plaintiff would request that Mitchell French and Beasley post the prom promotional materials he sent. On social media accounts since he did not have access to any of them so um, no it's never had access to none of the accounts uh, I guess they gonna show that exhibit 8 plaintiff will also routinely post these promotional materials featuring his logo along the side URL name and logo to his own social media accounts exhibit 9 <clears throat> June 1st 2019 <clears throat> um, Hold on, let me go down. There's some more stuff in here. URL will make small payments via cash app, electronic transfer and compensation for services and arranging the performances of particular battle rappers. In some instances, URL provided NOBS with a portion of revenue generated by live ticket sales for URL events, but made clear to NOBS that URL would retain all rights in the video footage and accompanying stream web revenues from the event. Since producing the first iterations of URL events, Mitchell and I have always conducted the business. Mitchell, French, and Beasley always conducted the business of the URL through registered corporate and limited liability company entities. Mitchell, French, and Beasley have never operated URL through any form of partnership, whether formal or informal in nature. Neither Beasley nor, to his knowledge, Smack 
nor Chico ever made a promise to Norbs that he would be a partner in the URL or that he held any form of equity interest in the URL. Um, plaintiff had no involvement in creating the URL, website, social media accounts, websites. Plaintiff never had manager, never was a manager in control of the URL events. Plaintiff never agreed to share price, fits, and losses. So, yeah, man, um, they delivering a lot of information. Basically, they saying Nobs is bluffing. Everything he's saying is fraudulent. He ain't got no proof. Um, you know, originally they was talking about a verbal agreement. Nobs said he had a verbal agreement. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, it'd be smoke and mirrors in this entertainment thing. You feel me? So sometimes what 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 is made to believe is not really what it is. You know what I'm saying? So Nopes could have looked like he was doing more than he actually was doing. You feel me? You know what I mean, kind of to boost his own thing up. You feel me? Or URL could, you know what I'm saying, just be... <laughs> Covering their own self, you feel me? Like, it, it, it could be both ways, you feel me? When it all come down to it, it's going to be who can prove what. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what's, what it's really going to come down to, yo. So, if Nobs can't prove, he deserves some of that caffeine money, I don't think you're going to get it, shorty. Um... All right, let's get into this some more. Let me see what else. It's, it's some more stuff in here. Let me go back to the, um, like I was saying, some of the exhibits that I was showing y'all, that I wanted to show y'all, whatever. Exhibit one. What's this? it before this basically shows um the LLC agreement uh I think this the one yeah this the one as you can see there's no nobs signature it's only smack Beasley and Chico Yeah, yo. So, um, yeah, yo. They, they, they got some. They, they, they put their defense together. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I don't know, if, um, you know, Nob's case is gonna be enough to earn him forty million dollars, if anything at all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if he can prove that they own some type of money. For some of his services, maybe he'll get something. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I don't see you getting. I don't see you getting all this for real, for real. Um, but yeah, let's check out some more of these exhibits. There was something else on here I wanted to see. This basically the legal zoom. Basically, just showed um. You know when they paid. You know for the little copyright. LLC thing or whatever. Now text messages. Exhibit seven. I guess Norbs used to create flyers. Basically, they they Sean what they were saying in there. He put his logo on there with URLs. Rough sketch. What you think? I'm guessing Beasley told him that was fire. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this this shit is crazy, man. This shit is a mess. Exhibit eight, more text messages, flyers. You want to post this on all social media? 
my was Gerd or Mason Rudolph was right. I'm guessing I was around the time that happened. That little incident. Uh, Instagram posts. The Nobs contact Nobs for hosting scout and talent evaluation. And this is what Nobs posted. His his. <laughs> Nobs posted his, this himself, so. Ah. Uh, don't look like no co ownership right then. But yeah, yo, basically, it, it got a lot of stuff. Um, And today, Caffeine had filed a letter. They got their lawyer to, to file a letter. Because I, I guess they were subpoenaed to, um, you know, give up some information. I don't know what they were subpoenaed for, but their lawyer basically um, said they needed extension, 30-day extension. I guess they needed some more time to go over the files and stuff like that. And the judge granted that today to December 21st, so caffeine should be responding um, by December 21st. They should have a response on this as well, so... I keep y'all updated, but y'all can check out the full thing. Just go to the website, look it up. You feel me? But this your boy Logic. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button for me, man. Run that, run it up, run it up, all the way up. You heard? Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. You feel me?